I'm Kelly Hyatt. I'm the floor manager at number one and 25 in Lufkin. And today I'm gonna walk you through how to make floral arrangements and gift items. Let's get started. Let's start by looking at a half dozen arrangement. Use clear quarter inch floral tape to grid your vase before adding water in a three by three pattern. Tape from rim to rim with only minimal hanging over the edge. Place one layer around the rim over the grid edges. Cut and place 10 pieces of leather leaf into the vase, moving around placing them in with spaces between. Now after cutting an inch off the bottom of the tallest straightest rows, place it in the very center of the arrangement. Next, place the five remaining roses around the arrangement at a 45 degree angle. The head of the second layer should be level with the bottom of the first rose's head. Accent your arrangement with baby's breath evenly spread throughout. Next, we will look at a full dozen arrangement. Start by gridding the vase in a three by three pattern. Please take note that during the entire time an arrangement is on the sales floor, water levels need to be monitored and maintained. For example, any time the water line falls below the neckline on a dozen arrangements, carefully refill with water making sure not to overfill. When cutting stems, make sure they will be long enough to be fully submerged in water. A dry arrangement equals shrink. Now after cutting an inch off the bottom of the tallest straightest rows, place it in the very center of the arrangement. Next, place five roses around the arrangement at a 45 degree angle. The head of the second layer should be level with the bottom of the first rose's head. Lastly, place the remaining six roses around the base. Once again, the head of the third layer should be level with the bottom of the second. Accent your arrangement with baby's breath evenly spread throughout. Wrap the neck with curling ribbon and carefully using a pair of scissors curl the ends. Our last full arrangement is the chop and drop. No gridding is necessary, but always make sure to monitor and maintain water levels. Begin by removing all the lower leaves from six roses. Now holding them in a bouquet style, gather the roses together, bunched at the middle, measuring the stems against the container. The goal is to have the head of the roses sit on the rim. Cut any excess stems from the bottom, Place into the container and add baby's breath. Now, let's create a simple candy jar gift bag. Using only individually wrapped candies, fill a container to the top. Place inside of a small clear plastic bag. Clear cello may be used to wrap when bags are not available. Wrap the top of the bag with curling ribbon and carefully using a pair of scissors curl the ends. We will next go over a snack basket. Using a six pack with three removed, mark through the UPC on the bottom with a permanent black marker. Then place tissue paper or cello in the empty slots. Place a cookie from a variety multi-pack, a pack of crackers, peanuts, and a small individual sized bag of chips on top of the paper. Carefully lift the pack by the handle and place into a medium or large clear bag. Tape the bottom corners under the bag to tighten the base. Place a printed floral tag on the bottom for scanning. Wrap the top of the bag with curling ribbon and carefully using a pair of scissors curl the ends. Let us take a look at a box candy bouquet. Start by cutting a piece of spray bar styrofoam slightly shorter than your smallest box of candy. Attach the box of candy to the styrofoam using hot glue. Using one or two bamboo skewers, depending on the stick strength, tape to the candy on the backs, making sure that no UPCs are fully showing. Take approximately a 6x6 square of colored cello and pierce through to the foam for each candy skewer. Spread throughout evenly so that all candy is at least partially visible. Lastly, we will build a premium large gift box. Gather various items, 
For example, nuts, jerky, box chocolates, and a small plush toy. These boxes are a great chance to use the remaining three beverages from the previously made six pack gift baskets. Always pay attention to the expiration dates. Using old ads bunched at the bottom with red shred on top, build a bed to place the items on. Arrange the box trying to keep it symmetrical in height if possible. Place in a large clear bag and wrap with curling ribbon and carefully using a pair of scissors curl the ends. Presentation is key for great arrangements and gift baskets, and by following these simple steps you can help grow your location sales. If you have any questions about any of the arrangements or gift bags, please reach out to your floral merchandisers. Thank you.